So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We were asked to determine if the two functions are inverses of each other. We're given f of x equals x squared minus two for x greater than or equal to zero and g of x equals the square root of the quantity x plus two. Two functions are inverses of one another if they undo each other. To determine if two functions are inverses of each other, we must perform two tests. First, we need to substitute g of x into f of x and the result must be x using function notation this is the same as stating f of g of x equals x. Notice how using this notation, we are substituting g of x into f of x, and the result is x. And we must also substitute f of x into g of x, and again, the result must be x. And again, using function notation, we would have g of f of x equals x. Notice how here, we are substituting the function f of x into the function g of x, and again, the result is x. This notation here is called composite function notation, or the composition of functions. Now, if both of these tests are true, then f of x and g of x are inverses, which means f of x equals g inverse of x, and g of x equals f inverse of x, meaning the two functions are inverses of one another. Let's check to see if these two functions are inverses. So we first substitute g of x into f of x, or determine f of g of x. Well, the inner function g of x is equal to the square root of the quantity x plus two. This is equal to f of the square root of the quantity x plus two. And now we substitute the square root of the quantity x plus two into the function f, which means we substitute the square root of the quantity x plus two for x. So instead of x squared, we have the square of the square root of the quantity x plus two, and then we still have minus two. Well, the squaring undoes the square root, and we're left with the quantity x plus two minus two, which does simplify to x. So these two functions do pass the first test to determine if they are inverses of one another. But now we need to substitute f of x into g of x or determine g of f of x. Well, the function f of x equals x squared minus two, which means this is equal to g of x squared minus two. So we substitute x squared minus two for x into the function g of x, which means we would have the square root. Instead of x here, we have x squared minus two, and we still have plus two. Well, of course, minus two plus two is equal to zero. This simplifies to the square root of x squared, which is equal to the absolute value of x, but because we're given x is greater than or equal to zero, this is just equal to x. So these two functions do pass the two tests to verify they are inverses of one another. So we can go ahead and say the two functions are inverses of each other. Which means f of x, equals g inverse of x and g of x equals f inverse of x. I hope you found this helpful.